Stephen. Okay, I want you to know that this is not, I, I told the ushers beforehand, this is not a Kanye West moment. You know, do not, <laughs> he's not going to come up here and say, you know, I'm, I'm happy for you, I'm going to let you finish, but, you know, Pastor Pedro is the best preacher in the whole world. It's a, it's a, don't tackle him if he does that, you know, so. Let's see if we can do the logistics here. Well, just so you guys know, I'm Steven, if you didn't know that already. Uh, <laughs> I want to talk with you guys about overcoming obstacles. Now, as you can see, I was born without fingers on my right hand, and also my right leg was several inches shorter than my left one. That's why I'm wearing this cage. It's actually called an Elizarov external fixator, so there you go. <laughs> um, my leg is being strengthened, but it's also being lengthened. It's a process that takes almost a year. And the la I actually have had three surgeries. This was the last of them. Uh, it happened in March, as my dad said. But they broke the bones in the leg. Then they screwed metal spikes into the bone. It has not only spikes, but wires that go all the way through the leg to stabilize it. But this is all to lengthen my leg. But the bones grow slowly. I have to walk on it, like dad said. I have to stretch it out so that my muscles don't just get all atrophied. And people always ask me, does it hurt? Yes, it does. But what hurts the most is not being able to play basketball. That's what I want to talk about overcoming obstacles because I have a disability, but I don't focus on my disability. I focus on my ability. I focus on what I can do, not on what I cannot do. One of my favorite Bible verses is Philippians 4.13, which says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. There is no dishonor in having a disability, and I won't let anyone diss my ability, but I don't want anyone's pity either. I will not use the obstacles I face as an excuse for having a pity party. I will practice harder, play harder, and push myself harder to keep getting better. One of the things that I find funny is that people judge me by appearance. They say, oh, look at this one-handed whitey with the limp. I don't want him on my team, you know? But what they don't know is that I don't just have a disability, I have an ability. God has done some amazing things in my life. Last season, I started on my varsity high school basketball team as a freshman, and I won Rookie of the Year. Um, I was one of the top scorers on the team, so... But when I first, the first day of practice for that season, I knew nobody. I just went out, I knew when the practice started. And when I first came out, I could tell. Everyone was like, oh no, not this guy. I mean, a handicapped kid, plus I'm homeschooled, so I didn't even go to the school. Uh, I mean, I'm just, they'd never seen me before. They're like, oh no, what's this guy doing here? But. I started to warm up, and after they saw me shoot a few times, they're like, oh, yeah, this is going to be awesome. So it's true. I have a disability, but so do you. I also have an ability. So do you. Everyone has obstacles to overcome. Some are visible like mine. Some are less visible. I mean, maybe your obstacle is that you come from a poor neighborhood. Maybe people say you'll never amount to anything. Prove them wrong. Maybe your obstacle is that you have a learning disability and people think that you're dumb. Prove them wrong. Maybe people judge you because of the color of your skin or your family background. Prove them wrong. I know a lot of people who take one look at me and judge me. They say, oh, that kid can't be any good at basketball. I love to prove them wrong. With God's help, of course. Maybe your biggest disability is that you have a whole lot of ability but not a lot of discipline. You're the best on your block, but you don't discipline yourself. You don't listen to the coaches or the teachers that God has put in your life. Maybe you are better than everyone else, but that's not the standard. Are you the best you can be? Everybody has obstacles, a disability, a hurdle. We face a choice. Let the obstacle overcome you or overcome the obstacle. Maybe some of you have heard of Jim Abbott. He was a Major League Baseball player. He won a gold medal in the Olympics. 
Uh, he played for the Yankees, the Angels, but he threw a no-hitter, and he only had one arm. When he was a kid, he came home mad one time and told his dad, the kids won't let me play baseball because I only have one hand. But his dad replied, no, the kids won't let you play baseball because you stink at baseball. <laughs> you can't change the fact that you only have one hand, but you can change the fact that you stink. So his dad began to practice with him, and he got good. And soon the kids wanted him on their team, and then the major leagues wanted him on their team. He overcame obstacles. An interesting note about the no-hitter game was that it came right after one of the worst starts of his career. And it was against the same team, both games. It would have been easy for him to give up, but he didn't. He overcame obstacles. Another thing that teams would try to exploit his weak side. They would try to bunt to the side that, was mi that he had a missing arm. But they never succeeded because he practiced and practiced fielding bunts to that side. A big mistake that a lot of people make is that they feel sorry for themselves. They expect others to feel sorry for themselves. But blaming the obstacles for your failures won't get you anywhere in life. With God's help, overcome the obstacle. Don't diss my ability and don't diss your disability. One of my favorite moments from this last season was we played a team that we had never played before. And when the game started, you could tell that they were dissing my disability. I mean, they, they double teamed our tallest player. They just were playing really soft on me. And they just, you could tell, they thought, what can this guy with one hand do? So they left me open for a three. I made that one. They left me open for another one. I made that one. Then they started to get frustrated, so they actually fouled me. I made both free throws, and they called timeout. And as we were in the huddle, I could hear the other coach yelling at his players about me. They went from not covering me at all to double teaming me. It's all about overcoming obstacles. The last six months have been extremely hard, just really hard for me and my family. But right now, I'm working on my mental game, you know, just getting tougher, wanting it more. Sometimes I go out to practice and there's no one out there to help me. I have to get my own rebounds and hobble along with the crutches, you know. But it's frustrating, but it makes me not want to miss, you know. I have to hobble a long way when I miss. So practice pays off, though. At several of the basketball camps, including one that Dwayne Wade Sr. did, I won the free throw contest. So my record is 28 in a row, one leg, one hand, but I'm overcoming obstacles. But the most important thing is that I'm not overcoming them alone. I have my faith in God. I have my family, my friends. Thank you to all of you who have prayed for me. But please remember, don't diss anybody's disability. Don't let anyone diss your disability. And if someone thinks you can't overcome the obstacles, with God's help, prove them wrong.